Hello, and welcome to the video tutorials for the Pike County Public Library. My name is Michael, a member of staff of the library, and today I'll be showing you how to access Libby, an app from Overdrive. Firstly, what is Libby, and how is it different from Overdrive? Libby is an app which you can use on phones and computers to take out ebooks and audiobooks from your local library. Overdrive is the backbone of Libby, the program making everything work, and Libby is a more polished way to access the titles you're looking for. You can still use Overdrive if that's what you're familiar with, and anything you do on Overdrive will show up on Libby, and vice versa. In this video, we'll be showing you how to access Libby on an iPhone, but if you prefer to use a computer, we have another video linked below you can watch. Starting by opening the Libby app on your phone, the first question you'll be asked is if you have a library card. By clicking yes, you then have a few options to add library cards to your account. If you're just setting up a new device and already have a Libby account, you can copy from another device, but let's get you set up fresh. You can let Libby guess your library based on a geographic location, but let's search for your library instead. You can put in your zip code, town, or put in the library name. Whichever way you search, we are part of the Northeast Pennsylvania Digital Library, so you'll choose that system. Libby will then ask where you use your card, which of course is at the Pike County Public Library. You'll then be asked to enter your card details. You'll put in your full card number and then your PIN. By default, your PIN is the last four digits of your library card number, so that includes the number at the very end. If you're having trouble with logging in, call or stop by the library and someone will be happy to assist you. Now you've logged into Libby and you can start taking out ebooks and audiobooks. In the next video, we'll be showing you how to search Libby and how putting items on hold and borrowing items works. Be sure to check out our other video tutorials and check out the links below.